everyone, and welcome to the U.S. Open Health Desk, brought to you by the Mount Sinai Medical Center. I'm your host, Shauna Ryan. Joining me today is Dr. Valentin Fuser. He is the director of Mount Sinai Heart. He is also the physician-in-chief at the Mount Sinai Medical Center. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Well, lucky us, not only are you a medical expert, but you also grew up playing tennis in Spain, almost choosing it as a career, right? Well, I was very naive. Certainly, I was in the Spanish junior team. I almost made it to the Orange Bowl in Miami, but then I decided to be a doctor. Lucky for us. And I want to get right into the cardio zone, something you know a lot about. Tennis really is a game of heart that has a lot of physical benefits. The heart uh, gets better with tennis, like with any other sport, but the tennis is very complete. When you run, this is aerobic exercise. You make the oxygen uptake much more efficient for the heart. When you hit the ball, this is called anaerobic exercise. It's a resistance, you burn calories. So overall, you end up losing weight. Next, your blood pressure drops, your bad cholesterol gets lower, your good cholesterol gets higher, and then you remember to stop the smoking. And tennis, it can actually help prevent or lower your risk of heart disease, correct? Well, the tennis uh, opens the door to take care of yourself. Once you do a sport and tennis is not different, you begin to eat better, you take care of your weight, you avoid the smoking, and so forth. So I think in itself, you, you really change your lifestyle. In addition to tennis, though, is there anything else you can do to maintain a healthy heart? Absolutely. There are six factors that you have to look at. Two are mechanical. Blood pressure should be normal and good nutrition. Two are chemical. Cholesterol level in blood and blood sugar. And two are questions to you. Do you smoke or you don't? Do you do exercise or you don't? These six parameters, two mechanical, two chemical, and two questions account when they are abnormal for 95% of the heart attacks and strokes. Take care of the six of them. Thanks to Dr. Fuster and thank you so much for watching us here at the U.S. Open Health Desk. I'm your host, Shauna Ryan. Please do not forget to check back to the video section on usopen.org throughout the entire tournament for more tips and information from our doctors from Mount Sinai. Until next time, we'll see you right here on the U.S. Open Health Desk presented by Mount Sinai.